What's up everyone, I hope you're doing well. If you are visiting or you're living in Medellin, there's a lot of really cool weekend trips that you can take. And in today's video, we're talking about the historic town of Santa Fe de Antioquia. Santa Fe de Antioquia was founded back in the 1500s by Jorge Robledo, and it would become Antioquia's capital city in 1584. The town would maintain its capital status until 1826, when Medellin was elected as the new capital city of the department. So there is a lot of history in Santa Fe, Antioquia, and it's very evident when you visit. You can see it through the colonial architecture, the cobblestone streets, there's amazing antique doors, and a lot of old churches. You can take the bus or drive to Santa Fe Antioquia from Medellin, and I've done it myself. It's not a bad drive at all. It's only about an hour and a half away. The bus tickets range from 15,000 to 20,000 Colombian pesos, which is roughly five to seven dollars. Santa Fe Antioquia is northwest of Medellin, so you're gonna go straight through El Tunnel del Occidente, or the West Tunnel, which essentially cuts straight through the Andes Mountains. The drive, like so many in Colombia, is beautiful. You're surrounded by the Andes Mountains, and there's various places where you can stop to eat, rest, or fill up the tank if you're choosing to drive. If you're wanting to go with a guide, I want to recommend my friend Steven from Let's Colombia. He is an awesome guy, he speaks perfect English, and I know him personally, so I feel very comfortable recommending him. If you're interested, make sure to check out his company on Instagram. Something important I want to mention is that Santa Fe Antioquia is hot, guys. It's not Medellin spring-like weather. It is like Houston, Texas in the summer. It is hot and humid. So if you're planning on spending the night and you're not used to sleeping with a lot of heat or with just a fan, I highly recommend finding a place with air conditioning. There are various different places where you can stay from hostels to Airbnbs to hotels, but I want to personally recommend Hotel Mariscal Robledo. It's not the most budget friendly option and by that I mean you're probably going to be paying from $80 to $100 a night, which just depends on your budget. But it's a very pretty hotel, has a really cool pool, it's right in the center of Santa Fe Antioquia, it has some really good breakfast. So it's definitely a good option to check out if you're interested. I am going to leave some helpful links for you guys down below in the description so you guys can check that out after the video. If you're wanting to go to Santa Fe Antioquia for just the day, I think that's a great option. And I do know Hotel Mariscal Robledo allows you to pay a small fee to hang out for the day. So you can use the pool, you can have some delicious breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I believe the fee is close to 50,000 Colombian pesos, which is around $15. One of the highlights of going to Santa Fe Antioquia is that you can walk across the oldest suspension bridge in Colombia. It was built in 1895, El Puente del Occidente, and it's pretty cool. It has been maintained and secured and restructured, so you're not actually going to be walking across that old of a bridge, but it's a cool place to go. It is also a national monument in Colombia, and it crosses the Cauca River. If you're someone that is sensitive to mosquitoes, I highly recommend taking some bug spray because there was a lot of them. There are some great places to eat in Santa Fe, Antioquia, like the highly rated La Casa Solariega, which features Mediterranean and European cuisine. Cuisine. I've left their TripAdvisor link down below in the description for you guys to check out. Honestly, the reviews speak for themselves. I think one of the best things about visiting pueblos or towns in Colombia is being able to observe how people live life. It's such a stark contrast from the major metropolitan cities, and when you get to a pueblo, life just kind of takes this wonderful, slow, peaceful pace. It's really just refreshing and it's awesome to see people in the main plaza drinking coffee, playing football, selling fruit. It's very enriching and it's honestly one of the best things about Colombia. All right, guys, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If there's anything that we can help you with, please let us know down below in the comments. And if this is your first time on our channel, Artisan Tropic is a healthy snack brand. We produce some very delicious plantain and cassava chips in Colombia, and we sell them in the United States. But we just have a huge passion for Colombia. We love being from Colombia. We feel really proud to be from such an amazing country. And that's what this channel is mainly about. We wanna show you all the amazing places, the amazing stories. So if you're into that, make sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys next week. Peace.